Question two, what have we got? Fruitcake Factory in, regional, uh, in a regional centre has a full-time administrator who paid an annual salary of 75000 During the year, the assembly line staff with casual workers who are paid by the hour. Uh, last year, it produced 300,000 cans of peaches, so it sounds like we're doing a break-even question here. Uh, and the results were we had 900,000 in revenue, variable costs were 630, fixed costs were 200, and we had 70,000 as an operating profit. It says the company expects the variable cost to increase by 10 cents per can for the current year. All right, so assuming a selling price remains constant, compute the contribution margin for each can of peaches for the current year. So we're looking at the current year and we're looking at contribution margin. Now my contribution margin equals my selling price minus my variable costs. Now I'll put a little S in there because it's costs. And that equals my selling price. Uh, we have to work some stuff out now because I haven't got a selling price. So my selling price will be per unit will be 300,000 cans or $900,000. $900,000 divided by 300,000 cans equals $3 per can. And I've got variable costs of 630,000 divided by 300,000 cans equals $2.10. Okay, so I've got that. I've got fixed costs I don't have to worry about dividing by and I've got operating profit which I don't have to worry about dividing by. So I've got my selling price now of $3.00. Minus my variable cost of two dollars and ten cents, but I've also got this other additional variable cost here, which they said is going to increase for the current year, and it's the current year that we're looking at doing. So I've got another ten cents. That equals eighty cents. So that's my contribution margin. Tick off A. Now B is break even. So it says break even in the number of cans and dollars. Okay, so I've got to do cans and dollars. So my break even equals my fixed cost divided by my contribution margin. So that means my fixed cost of 200000 so the 200,000 divided by 0 0.80, which is my contribution margin. We calculated up here. Who's fast on the calculator? Two hundred thousand. Yeah. Thank you very much. So that's B. So we've got it in cans. That's the number of cans. Now it does say I've got to do it in dollars as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, my selling price is three dollars per can, multiplied by 250 cans, equals seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <coughs> And that takes care of B. So I've got C now. How many cans of peaches will have to be sold this year to earn the same operating profit as last year? Now my operating profit last year was 70000 So my desired profit calculation equals my fixed cost plus my profit, all divided by my contribution margin. <coughs> so my fixed cost we worked out before was 200000 plus my profit, which was 70000 all divided by my contribution margin, which we calculated at 80 cents. And this equals, who's fast on the calculator again? going to be you, Kexon, again. Two, 
337,500. 337,500 cans is what we have to sell to earn the same operating profit as we did last year. Right, that takes care of C. And last question is D. So explain why the salary of the factory administrator is treated as a fixed cost of producing cans of peaches, but the wages of the workers on the assembly line are treated as a variable cost. Okay. The factory administrator's salary does not rise and fall with the changes in production. So is therefore fixed. Uh, what is it? Wages of the workers change. Or oh, hang on, cost of wages rise and fall with. Changes in production so therefore variable and that's that question finished.